Hello friends out there in YouTube land, Robert Ham here, that's me, with Robert Ham Photography. Today we're talking about another weekly update. This is Monday, September 25th, 2017, and there is a lot of stuff going on. Some of you may have noticed there haven't been as many videos coming out. I am currently swamped right now with work, which is a good thing, right? Let me just share with you a couple of the fun things that are happening this week. Not only are there weddings this weekend, there's also a photo booth for a khaki ball on Friday. This is a military-sponsored event with our new chiefs and petty officers. I've been contacted to provide a photo booth for that event, and I look forward to having that in downtown Norfolk. Lots of fun there. In fact, these are the types of events also that I bring my little buddy boy with me. Robert will get to go and help me in that event. It'll be a lot of fun. I'll learn a little bit about the business, and uh, it'll be a guy's night out. So, uh, and we get paid. So what else is there to, to want from that? What good stuff? Now, for those of you that always ask the question, what do you use in a photo booth? I can share that with you now. I use all kinds of stuff. Of course, my cameras and iFi card. I get my Surface Pro going. I've got the backdrop, the lights. There's a lot of setup that actually goes into providing a good photo booth. And then how do you actually make that photo booth image turn into that little film strip? There's a whole process that goes through that, whether you use software, whether you do it manually, whether someone's managing the process in between, it's just a big deal. What about line and queue? How do you keep people moving along quickly? All of those types of things are answered in my video series. You can find it on the playlist, Photo Booth, the one that talks about photo booths. I'll explain all of that to you. Plus, I'll probably also do another video when I go set up just to share with you guys that information. So how cool is that? I've also got some other cool stuff happening with a local stable, Princess Anne Farms and I, are in talks about doing a photo spread for them. And this is really cool. I've always wanted to photograph horses uh, in the farm because I really enjoy what that looks like. Uh, so it's nice to be able to be a part of that and uh, actually it may even have some, some business opportunities to come out of that. That, however, currently as it is, is just one of my outreach programs that I do to try to meet new businesses, new owners, new people out there, just to get Robert Hand Photography out there and also find some really interesting photographic subjects. Like, how cool would it be to go photograph some zebras? Well, I can. They've got them over there on the farm. How cool is that? So stay tuned for more updates with that. The ham camera is going well. Had a couple of little setbacks. We had some technical difficulties with um, some internet and some things going on. I don't know if I got a bug or if I was kind of like hacked or something or something, but something happened to my files. That's all I'll say about that. So that has set me back for a couple of weeks. However, I do keep things on extra servers and stuff like that. So I'm just kind of moving and thinking more about my, my cybersecurity for that project because I didn't really realize that there might be a lot more people out there interested in it, more nefariously interested in it than I had originally thought. However, websites under construction and right now, uh, the, uh, the whole Kickstarter campaign is being built as we go along. We're still scheduling to launch in fall. October date's been moved back a little bit, but um, the products are already done. The question is about the infrastructure. And just so that you know, a real quick update. Um, yeah, so I've got these really cool leather inlays that go along with the actual uh, the boxes. So that's pretty cool. Uh, more on that to come. I actually have a weekly update on that. The feature Friday, I need to begin. And let's talk about those videos. Uh, two weeks ago, when I announced specific videos on specific days, I didn't realize that I was going to be inundated with the kind of work that I was, and that my structure internally was not set up to actually handle that. So I still do plan on bringing you a video a day for each day of the week, except for the fact that I've got to get this rolled out a little bit more slowly. I've got so much stuff on my plate, maybe that was a little overambitious right up front. But here's what I'm trying to plan. Trying to plan a Monday morning meeting like today for Mondays. I'm trying to plan a Q&A Tuesdays on Wednesday. It's a work with me Wednesday. Now I got some weird feedback on that. I wanted to just create a live stream where you guys could see me working uh, on my projects that I work at on Wednesday nights, but that didn't really go over so well. I got some feedback that the quality wasn't as good as it needed to be. And what's more important, um, you know, this is a live feed and sometimes things just kind of uh, mature the way that they do, like on Facebook and things like that. I can't get 1080p video to show up on Facebook for whatever reason. And I don't have broadcast software to show all the different parts of the event simultaneously. So really, if I'm going to go live right now, my current capabilities are to go live with my cell phone camera recording what I'm doing. 
And the idea is for you guys to join with me. So leave a comment down below. Do you want to join with me in something like that? Is it worth seeing or should I just kick that to the curb altogether until I can get the right software to put together? Then it's a video, then it's not a live stream. And that's the stuff that kind of, I wanted to build some community here, but I'm having a hard time getting that going. Of course, Thursdays, you guys know, are Tech Talk Thursdays with Mint every other Thursday, the uh, uh, second and fourth Thursday of the month. I'm live with Mint talking about something to do with the amazing TL70, of which, by the way, took this beautiful portrait and this beautiful portrait and others while I was at my wedding last weekend. How cool was that? And boy, did eyes pop when I brought out the TL70, started taking photos, and then the pictures started to appear. What a cool impression to make on people. And of course, uh, any other Thursday, the first and third is just tech talk as well. So either it's with Mint talking about the TL70, or then it's me releasing a video about something technical uh, gear wise on Thursdays, on the first and third Thursdays. And then Friday, of course, Friday, let's get to Friday. That's the feature Friday where we talk about what's happening with hand camera, all the new features that are coming out with that, where I'm really excited. And the weekend, as they say, is my own Carpe Diem or Carpe De Nocturne. I prefer to seize the night because I'm up so late anyways. Guys, those are the kinds of things that are happening right now with Robert Hand Photography. Don't forget, school portrait photography is right around the corner. And with all of this stuff going on, I'm really excited to be moving into a very feature-packed, fun-filled fall. So, guys, I'm Robert Hand with Robert Hand Photography. I want to thank you for watching and remind you that I will catch you on the flip side.